Yeah, that was, uh, <clears throat> that was like right on everything I was talking about. You nailed it. So, I just wanted to add that, uh, George Bush Sr. said, uh, in his speech about the New World Order, that they had the opportunity to forge it, obviously, but like, uh, he was talking about uh, having a thousand points of light. And I don't know how I know, but I know that he's talking about the archway of Baal. With, and Baal and, and Moloch are the same thing. And the Temple of Baal was quite literally where the Fallen Ones fell at, at 33.3 latitude, 33.3 longitude, Earth. So, that temple, the Temple of Baal, was destroyed by ISIS. The, the, the group ISIS, right, the terrorists, we call them that, whatever. Um, but they couldn't destroy the, the archway. And it said uh, in this story I read a long time ago that there was a special task force, American, I guess, that, that was uh, sent to destroy ISIS, that were destroying uh, a lot of these uh, old artifacts and temples and, and libraries and stuff. And uh, once they got there, the archway was still standing. <laughs> so they hired a company to, to copy it with a 3D printer. And they made a thousand copies and put them up all over the world. And one of them is quite literally facing the archway. If you look through it, it's in New York. There was like this really old church that after they put the archway up, it literally burned to the ground. And you, like, the way it was positioned, it's positioned that if you look through the archway, you could see this church. And another one in New York, that if you look through it, you could see where the Twin Towers were. Now, those are the only two that, I, that I, I've heard about. I know that they've put them up all over the world. And, and it says that the only way that could actually sacrifice to this thing was to walk through the archway first and then get into the temple and then you would be literally in the realm of Moloch right like 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 if you didn't walk through the archway first and just walked into the temple you would be in an empty temple but if you walk through the archway and then into the temple you would be in a room full of gods and demons and other horrifying things, right? So, now how do you convince human beings to sacrifice their children through fire? Unless it is quite literally a real thing and he was really threatening them at the time, okay? Now, if this is really real, they set up a thousand of these things. Maybe that's what we're seeing. All these feasts that they have, which I know they're having on their major event days, on the Super Bowls and stuff like that, where they quite literally eat us, right? The ones that are that go missing, that are abducted, right? I mean, I don't know like how much you guys know or seen or experienced yourselves about these non-humans but they eat people right young people preferably so I mean it's a horrible horrible thing to talk about hard to talk about also um, without getting censored um, but I think this is a real thing. And that I've, I've seen these things since
since I was a kid. And I've, I've maybe been cloned by them. And maybe that's how I've seen the place multiple times when I was a kid. I think of it as a recurring dream, but what if it's not? What if I was quite literally like, like Donald Marshall, right? Holy crap. So, so the fact that, that Daniel saw Katy Perry in his, in his, uh, in his waking vision, whatever you call these events, okay, uh, yeah, it's most likely a clone of hers, and, uh, during ritual night, they transfer into the clone body, whatever technology they use to do that, I'm sure it has to do with ancient Egyptian technology, that's still fucking usable, right, I mean, like, we just don't know about it. Uh, that's just like in her music video, Dark Horse, right? Oh, man. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. They do that. They have places all over the world where the, this archway is. And they literally do these things. Um, I don't know. I gotta look more into this.